Welcome to the High Voltage Laboratory of ETH Zurich at the Department of Electrical Engineering and Information Technology. My name is Christian Frank and I would like to introduce you to our research. All of our activities have in common that they originate from applications to control and apply high electric field strength. Mostly for the use in electric power transmission and distribution system equipment, but occasionally also other technical applications. Our society is at an early stage of the urgently required fundamental energy transition and the role of electric power system is key. Our research is of rather fundamental nature and aims to support the development of new and environmental friendly technology for the changing power system. Specifically, these are the following four areas. Gaseous insulation. For example, to find alternative gas mixtures to replace SF6, which is used today and which has a huge global warming potential. Overhead power lines. For example, the question if it is possible to increase the transmission capability of existing lines to avoid to build new lines. Also solid insulation. For example, to identify materials that age less under power electronic converter stress. Current interruption and switching arcs. For example, to support the development of HVDC or again SF6 free circuit breakers. Our research is of mostly experimental nature, backed by multi-physics simulations and development of new models. Four of my colleagues will welcome you now in some of our different labs and give you a deeper insight into our research, each in one of the four areas that I just introduced to you before. Let's go! SF6 is today the most widely used insulation and arc quenching medium in gas insulated switch gears around the world. However, it is a highly potent greenhouse gas with a global warming potential that is more than 23,000 times stronger than CO2. In order to propose alternative solutions to SF6, three experimental setups are available here in our group, each focusing on a specific stage in the development of an electrical discharge in a gaseous medium. In this fully automated Pulse 1000 experiment, the fundamental processes involved in the growth of an electron avalanche are investigated in various gases and gas mixtures over a large range of pressures and electric field strengths. A time lag experiment allows for the characterization of pre-breakdown phenomena and together with a breakdown experiment, discharges in real application environments can be described. The experimental data in combination with simulations gives us a complete picture on the mechanisms and parameters governing the insulation properties of gaseous media. Given today's energy policy, it is necessary to expand the transmission capacity of our electrical network. Since regulation and public acceptance of overhead lines make new constructions difficult, an upgrade and efficient use of already existing systems are of high importance. Research projects in this area explore the possibility of increasing transmission capacity of existing overhead lines with minimal changes. To increase the public acceptance, the noise emissions that occur on overhead lines, especially during bad weather conditions, should be minimized. Maybe you've already heard a hissing or humming noise near an overhead line. This noise originates from so-called corona discharges and is a result of a complex interaction of water droplets, electric field and conductor surface. In this experiment, these corona discharges and options for mitigation are investigated. Other research topics cover the accumulation and deformation of single water droplets, partial discharge inception and ice nucleation. Over the last years, power electronic components became increasingly important in modern energy transmission systems or also electric vehicles. And in these cases, the voltage waveforms, which are generated by solid state switching, exhibit higher slew rates and frequencies compared to the conventional 50 Hz sinusoidal waveforms. In this experimental setup behind me, we can generate so-called mixed frequency voltages under different environmental conditions to simulate this kind of stress. And in the next step, we use other experimental tools developed at HVL to analyze the material degradation that occurred under the specific aging scenarios. And as a consequence, we need to combine the areas of high voltage engineering, power electronics, as well as material science to understand the impact of this novel stress on the insulation systems.
Hi, in this laboratory we conduct uh, experiments in relation with the current interruption and switching arc. Our research is devoted to the increasing interruption performance of existing technology, to develop new technology for switch gearing high voltage DC network, and to establish environmental friendly interrupting media for all voltage levels. One specific example is a project of comparative evaluation of switching in non SF6 gases. Currently, 18 industry partners financially support this uh, project. This is an experimental breaker and it's unique in the sense that it provides a setup and wide range of settings necessary for the investigation and unbiased comparison of properties of alternative gas mixtures relevant for switching. In addition to this, we are continuously developing diagnostic methods and tools for advanced switch gear research, such as our flexible pulse current source and the synthetic source. And now, back to the Professor Frank. Ah, welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed the deeper dive into our research by my colleagues. As you have seen, our research topics are quite diversified and multidisciplinary. We do have and will continue to have also collaborations with groups from other departments and universities, especially also on mechanical and material aspects, as well as data-driven analysis methods. We will continue to support the development towards a greener grid and its components, and hope that the energy transition will happen in time. If you're interested in our research, please feel free to contact us or visit our homepage. There you can also find the link to all publications and data which we systematically publish open access so that everybody can make use of it free of charge.